Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. Today is, uh, what is it? Thursday, the 8th of September. And I'm Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. And down there is Miss Twinkle Toes. You help me little bell. And Jonah's over on the bed. So... Everybody is in position. <laughs> At least I hope so. So, all right. This is what I'm working on. This is Halloween Sampler. I got this from Fan Cells. And I am just working up here on this color. So, I... Um, I'm just starting with this color. So how are you all doing today? I hope you're doing better than I am. No, I'm not sick, but I am tired. Uh, this is day three in a row that Miss Twinkle Toes has gotten me up early. And I am tired. Like she got me up at 4.30 this morning. And, oh gosh. And when she gets me up like that, around that time, I can't go back to bed. I just, nope. Nope. I just, you know, if it's like three o'clock or something, I will, of course. But not if it's 4.30, 4 o'clock, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I've been up, and it's really starting to take a toll on me. Because I can do the first day okay. Second day, yeah. By the third day, nope. Nope, nope, nope. So, um, yeah. But, uh, anyway, so I'm just going to work on this. Uh, today it's very windy out there, very cloudy, like low clouds. Not, it doesn't look like thunder boomers or anything. And, um,. In that, but it's still, yeah, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Yesterday, I laid down for half an hour or so, and I was able to recharge, but I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to find myself today. I just, ugh, I feel, bleh. Yeah. I mean, when I did sleep, I slept really good. But because I'm up so early, I, uh, that just, it, you drag your feet after a while. You always feel like you got, sand in your eyes and it's gritty and it <laughs> yeah so yesterday on the news it um, came on I don't know 4.30 or so that this Miles Sanderson was um, captured and he's that lunatic that was had gone out and stabbed all those people with his brother and his brother was found stabbed to death earlier a couple of days ago or something and then Miles the more dangerous one was on the loose 
And again, they were talking about him being in Regina. And I don't know why they kept saying he was in Regina. And I kept yelling at the screen, no, he's not. He would not drive almost five hours away from his home and try to escape in the city? No. No. So yesterday, a report came in and all the helicopters were out and police and he was captured and um, I seen pictures of him being photographed, you know, um, in handcuffs. And the police took him down. And shortly thereafter, he was discovered in distress. And so they called the EMTs. They called him over. They tried to stabilize him, couldn't stabilize him. The uh, um, air ambulance was called. He was airlifted to Saskatoon. And he was dead, really, upon arrival. Probably died before that. And what I think it was, that he overdosed on meth or something. Because I don't think he wanted to be caught alive. I think that he just... He, he didn't want to see himself go back to prison. And because uh, he had been there. And, you know, like, yeah. There's more to this story. Much, much more to this story. And the RCMP are not forthcoming. They are just, you know, after the incident in Nova Scotia a couple of years ago, that you think that they would learn, would have learned something to be more upfront with people and the public. And... You know, and they just weren't. They just weren't. They were just... They were still hiding. They were still um, covering things up. You know, and I mean, like, not covering up, like, the sense of their investigation, per se. But covering up... What should have been, uh, what the public should have been aware, made aware of. And I think that's just atrocious. When will they learn? When will they learn? Now, I'm not talking about the individual, um, RCM members that were there I'm talking about the brass the big wigs the people you know in the know that didn't want information revealed not because it was um, detrimental to the public because of some, I don't know, some internal garbage about we've got it all under control, right? And they obviously don't. So... 
Yeah. I hope heads will roll on this one. Oh, and Trudeau there yesterday, and oh, you know, like expressing his deepest concerns for the public and all that stuff. Like, he couldn't care less. He only cares about his image. He only cares about himself. The weasel. Can't stand him. Can't stand that man. Well, he's more like a child than he is a man. Him and his sidekick there, Christina Freeland. Oof. She was doing something there yesterday on on um, about financial um, state of, you know, the budget and all that. And I could not stand to listen to her voice anymore. It's just, it's the same like Nancy Pelosi. Can't stand the voice. Like, it's just like fingers on a chalkboard. You know, people like that are better off being seen and not heard. So, they should all put a bag over their heads. <sighs> yeah. But anyways, and then yesterday, oh my gosh, I woke up this morning to find out that in Memphis that there was a guy going around shooting people at random. Just going in at a gas station and shooting someone and and he went to an auto parts store and just shot someone and apparently there were four dead. And it's a 19-year-old male that did this. What possesses them? What possesses them? And uh, this world's just gone bonkers. I'm telling you, it's just gone bonkers. Every time I put the TV on in the morning and there's, oh my gosh, it's this going on or that going on or Putin's done this or... Uh, she's done this or, or, you know, whatever it is, or Biden's done this and Trudeau's done that. And, oh gosh. I don't know. Like, I don't know how many of you believe in the, um, tribulation and end times prophecy and all that. Oh gosh. I studied that for years and years and years. Oh, my goodness. I just, I read books on all that kind of stuff. And when um, Grant Jeffries, he had books and... Um, Oh, the guy that wrote Late Great Planet Earth. Um, can't remember his name now. Hal, Hal Lindsay? Hal Lindsay. That's who it was. And um, I had books, you know, um, all about the Book of Revelation, Book of Daniel, Book of Ezekiel. Um, um, you know, just, just everything. You know, it's, uh, it's incredible there. And it's just all coming to pass. I watched this TV program. It's called The Watchman. 
and they go through events that happen, um, you know, and how it ties into Bible prophecy. Now, of course, this is just, you know, one person or whatever, their take on it. Right? And I've watched others and they have a different take on it. So it's just viewer discretion advised. So, so yeah. So I'm going to work on this, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after this video is done and it begins to upload, I am going to lay down on the bed and I'm going to shut my eyes. Yesterday I was sitting, out, I was laying out here on, on the sofa and then I decided that was about 11.30. And then I decided after laying there for about 10 minutes, I thought, no, this isn't going to work. So I went and laid down on the bed. I don't know if I slept or not, but all of a sudden it was 1230. So, but I did feel a little bit better. Like I, I could handle things better. you get like that too where it's just yeah you just can't sleep you just can't sleep it's not like my mind is in overdrive because it's it's not really it's just that I just yeah just can't sleep. So. So, um, yeah, so anyways, this, this guy in Memphis, he was caught. I don't know how many people he shot altogether, but four died. I haven't seen any updates, so I don't know if, you know, if that number has changed. I don't know. And that, so I'll check later. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so... So today is a washout day. Later on, I'm just gonna. I'm going to uh, have my shower. And uh, that. So. Uh, so I got my new. Um, just a minute here. My new, oh my gosh, come on. My new case here for my iPad. See? It's a silicone, silicone uh, Jonas here. Um, and it's, and it's solid. Like I, I feel it a lot better. And it's, it's a little bit more heavy duty, so it can take, you know, in case it drops. And, um, and, and the thing I like about this one is, is that there's a beveled edge on it. So when it does fall, I should say, if it falls, that it doesn't land right on the screen. It lands on these edges. So that's good. 
that um, I did have I did buy uh, screen protectors and I got them from Amazon but they were horrible just horrible I tried it to get one on there couldn't get the air bubbles out could not get the air bubbles out it was like a plexiglass type thing and then David had come over and he tried a different one and he tried here it, he must have been here for 45 minutes to an hour trying to get these darn air bubbles out nothing 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 so then he told me, he said, you know what? He said, I'd send it back. And I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, it's not working to your expectations. So send it back. So I'm going to, I've got it all packaged up and it's going to go out this afternoon, this afternoon by Pure Later. Back to Amazon, and I will find something different. He said to get the more, the flexible one, you know, that you can kind of lift and roll it. I just didn't think that this would be that difficult, but it was. And uh, David was saying, he says, well, how often do you drop it on its face? You know, or, or how, how often does someone drop it on its face? I said, are you asking me? <laughs> are you asking me? <laughs> and... Um, I was like, yeah, you want to know? I've dropped my phone. I've dropped, though the iPad seems to be a little bit stronger. What would be nice is if they would have Gorilla Glass on these. Maybe this is Gorilla Glass. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to um, I'm going to get a different um, a different type, and um, but I had tried. I must have tried for an hour as well, and then David came over and I said, "Here, maybe you can try it." And he tried, and it just, you'd get, you know, you'd get it in one area where it was nice and sealed, and then you kind of, you're trying to come so that you can burp out those those air bubbles. Nope. Because as soon as you start coming over to one side, the air bubbles move around inside. And no, 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 not going to happen. So, but at least I've got a case now. It felt so uncomfortable, like it felt, it didn't feel very strong just holding it. Just, just the iPad itself. So this is much better. Much, much better. So, I got it in rose gold color, but to me it's pink. You know, it should have a slightly darker hue to it. Where it's more pink. So... I have almost the, the exact same thing here on my phone. So. Now, 
Now, this wasn't the most expensive case I could get because I can't afford that. But this will do the job. And it's got a good grip, like you can hold on to it. It doesn't just slip out of your hands. And they come in all different colors, blue and two-tone and three-tone and all that. So, and, and they come in two pieces, so you have to put, you have to take the top part off, like this part here. This is a harder, and this is the almost like the silicone here, the rubber. So, and then you you lift this part up, you put your phone in there, then you put this on top, and then you have to get it underneath here. You have to roll it here so that it's covered so yeah that's good I'm happy with that I'm happy with that so but, uh, yeah so otherwise not much else is happening for me, it's just going to be a very quiet day. My birdies are out there. The bird feeder's almost empty. This time it lasted about four days. So I'll put some more bird seed out there. I have a red-capped um, woodpecker that comes around. And as a gets a little colder I will be putting out suet for for my birdies and that so yeah But otherwise, not much else is happening. <sighs> There's been nothing on TV to watch. Amazon or Netflix. Or anything. Apple TV. I've only got two months left on Apple TV. For free. And I'm going to cancel that. I canceled uh, Kindle Unlimited. I canceled Acorn TV. I, I thought that I had already canceled it. And then it had come out again. And so I made sure I went in there to cancel it. I have Paramount Plus because I paid for a year. It's only $59 or something for the year. So, um, so I've got that until, I don't know, next June, May, June, I don't know. But I already, I already went in there and canceled it so that I didn't forget next year. But I'm, I think I'm just going to stick there with um, Amazon and Netflix. And Netflix, I've only just got the basic for ten bucks because I don't do anything else and I don't have a 4k or 8k or whatever the heck it is now 
things keep changing so much that I can't keep up with anything. A lot of farm equipment moving around as the farmers are wrapping up their harvesting. Yeah, there's been a lot of hay moving too. Oh, there goes another one. Same kind of tractor, case tractor. Oh, and another one. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like a... No, maybe it's for oil wells or something. I don't know. Something or water well or whatever. Not sure. So. But, uh, yeah. So, the other day when I was working on this, I had, um, I had worked here on her dress, here at the bottom of her dress. I had worked here on the top of the haunted house. So, I, I'm just, I'm slowly doing it. I try to alternate between Fairy Tale Hut and Halloween Sampler. And this I don't mind working on when I'm tired because it's um it's more blocky and I just don't feel that great, so I don't have to think too much. Oops. But I should get this done here for, um, for Halloween, before Halloween. Maybe even done here by the end of September. If I can knuckle down and get it done. So. Yeah. Oh. Now what's coming? Now what's coming? Oh, another tractor. Oh, yeah. See, they're hauling. It's something. They're doing something here. It's like they've got these... I don't think they're grain augers or some, But they almost look like it. But they're tractors. Big tractors. Big case tractors. And uh, so they must be going... They're going somewhere. And I don't know what they're doing. So. It's, uh, I, I don't know for sure if it has to do with um, farming per se. But they had these big... You know, four-wheel tractors. And just hauling. And there was one thing here, and it was hauling. It had something on the back of the truck, and then three trailers. Like, we're talking smaller trailers, right? Not, not highway trailers. But, and they're not moving it very far, so... I, I don't think so anyways. It's not like it's moving across country or something. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
Well, I'm just going to do this a little bit. And, but I'm going to... My videos have been loading quite fast. For me, quite fast. So in about a half an hour or so. Half an hour, 45 minutes. Which is good. For me. Because <laughs> sometimes it takes, you know, like half the day. And sometimes it even takes overnight before it loads. So. Yeah. Yeah, not, not, not very good. So. So, I'm just going to do this. Alexa, what's the forecast? Currently, in Ericsdale, it's 20 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. You can expect more of the same today, with a high of 20 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Would you also like the current humidity? No. So, we've reached our high for the day. So... And a low of seven. So in the at night now it's going down. It's dipping lower. The other the other night it was seven degrees too. So yeah, single digits. At least it's not in the minus sign yet. All right, everyone. I think that's it for now. And I will, I think I'm just going to have a lay down for a little bit. And then I'll go back and I'll continue working on this. And um, eventually I'll get it done. It will get done. So, I have no fear. I know somebody there, they've already got this done and I think the hat done. But... Yeah, I've got almost the pot, the cauldron done here. And I came over here and I worked here on the on the uh, pumpkin and that. So, yeah. All right, everyone. So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes herself, Miss Lily Bell. And Jonah, who's on the bed. And all my little birdies out there. So, thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for um, caring enough for me that you would see that my sins would be forgiven. Amen. So, until tomorrow, God willing, of course, I'll talk to you later then. Toodlittles, everybody!